Hello and welcome to Willa Commander number 50. Today we have a viewer submitted comment talking about uh, the interaction between uh, Cosmina, God of the Voyage, and mutations. So how this works is if you mutate a creature onto Cosmina, God of the Voyage, and then exile it and put counters on it, um, you can then put plus one, plus one counters on everything that's been mutated, then they come back into play and draw you a whole bunch of cards. And so I wasn't going to use Cosmina as the commander because I have a whole... I have a commander deck based around Cosmina, which I love, which I was going to adapt for Historic Brawl. Basically, vehicle tribal milling out our opponent and stealing all their lands with the Omen kill. Um, so we're not going to use Cosmina as the commander today, but we do have her in the deck as a way of doing these kind of interesting interactions with Mutate. Um, and we also have the good old classic, which has been featured a lot on this channel, Luxiar Giada's Gift. An equipment which turns planeswalkers into creatures that still gets them to use their loyalty abilities. Now, did you know that you could then mutate onto that planeswalker and remove the sword and it will remain a creature? So we have another interesting way that we can use mutations to kind of create these weird effects. So we have two weird effects, one using Cosmina, God of the Voyage, and the other using Luxia Giada's Gift. We also have some other fun mutate stuff like Teferi's Time Twist, which allows us to exile a mutate pile and then bring it back to the battlefield as separate creatures with additional plus one, plus one counters on it. Um, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff that uses the mutate ability to have some weird interactions that are quite fun indeed. So um, a lot of MC the battlefield effects as well so we have faster deep dwelling to make our mutate piles come back out as a bunch of creatures and then we can draw loads of cards with the great henge if the best thing happens we have a bunch of uh hydras which are awesome with mutate creatures because they're zero zeros with a bunch of plus one plus one counters and then the mutate creature basically keeps its power and the plus one plus one counters so that it can become this massive beast of a creature and with whatever abilities such as hungering hydra one of my favorites to mutate onto um it, so it can get weird effects like this one means that if aluna is mutated onto hungering hydra hun <laughs> hungering hydra and it's dealt damage and not killed it will get a whole bunch more plus one plus one plus one counters so yeah quite excited about this deck a bunch of weird interactions a bunch of mutate creatures a bunch of planeswalkers and cosmina god of the voyage which is quite unlikely to happen but you never know it could happen so we're going to give it a go and move on to our first game with aluna apex of wishes which be warned, is a very high tier commander in terms of the way Historic Brawl ranks commanders. So we are expecting to come across some difficult opponents today. So um, thank you very much for joining me today. And please, if you enjoy the video, subscribe and all that stuff. So I'll catch you now in game one with a Luna. Okay, we are on to game one and we are against this worm, Miriam Sentinel Worm. This is the first video, I'm, first Historic Brawl game I'm playing since the new set, the new Baldur's Gate set came out. And to be honest, this is looking fine. We can go with this. Draw a card. We have Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which is fairly fun. We also have the interesting interactions you can have with blinking a flipped saga. Um, mutating onto that is pretty fun because then you get the enchantment back. Have done that a few times with Fable of the Mirror Breaker already with this deck, which is kind of fun. Lovely, we've got the Snarl, so we're going to Fable next turn and start making our way to Luna. Um, so I need to probably pay attention to what this Sentinel Worm does, but I'm just going to play the way I was probably going to play anyway, which is going into Fable. But this cares about non-token dragons and making a copy of those non-token dragons, so much fear to be had already. <laughs> um, I think we're going to next turn try and draw discard decently. But they already have Galzef Prismari, which is a nasty one to face. I think the Planeswalkers aren't going to get much to do, and I'm not quite that fussed about doing a Teferi's Time Twist at this point in the game. That's quite a good card to have, is it not? So let's go into our Hungering Hydra. X3. And if we create our Treasure Token now, it means we can all Luna next turn, which would be fantastic. They're probably going to go into their Sentinel Worm thing. Fine by me. Um, so, yes, we can either Aluna onto our Kikijiki, which to me doesn't make much sense. I think instead we want... Aluna mutating onto the Hydra with this cool ability it's going to have. And also getting us a bonus permanent. 
in the form of oh, saw tusk demolisher. Um, we could just get in with this, to be honest, but and I, I don't see why not. It seems like a, a good attack. Yeah, no, nah, maybe we want to be on the defensive. They can deal nine with us next turn. Of course, it's quite likely they just might remove a Luna, but a 9-9 with flying is a very good blocker, especially when it gets bigger whenever it's dealt damage, so... Ooh, that's going to go straight for the rebuke. That's fine, we can mutate our Sawtast Demolisher and kill Galzef next turn. Okay, so we do have another go at Luna, so we're going to Elvish Visionary, see what we get. Yeah, Fast is pretty nice. Um, and then get rid of this Galzef Prismari. Oh, it's non-creature permanent. I see. That's a bit more pr of a problem than I thought it was. I should have read the card. Um, we'll get rid of the... Let's get rid of the... One of the... Let's get rid of their land. Right now we can deal with it because it's the only thing that we can block with anyway. So we'll discard this uh, Hungering Hydra, I think. Then next turn we can do a Luna again, which would be fun. Maybe we should have just played a Luna. Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Ooh, that's gnarly. That's some big beats. Raffle Red Dragon. Oh, ho -ho, nasty. Well, let's see what we get with a Luna. Just for the lols, because we are so dead. Destroy the Guardian Idol. Get a permanent, but we are we're dead. We're dead. This is this is the end of this game for sure. Yep, we get a Garrick. Which means we can get a random creature, but unless it kills everything. Yeah, that's a good game. Right, on to the next one. <laughs> okay. We're on to game number two, and it's Jetman. As we don't have many okay, we have to play. We have nothing to play with. Okay, this is looking promising, because at least we can do the Omen kill. Um, we don't have any green lands, so maybe it's just worth shipping this one too. Uh, yeah, that's, this, is, this is better. It's still pretty bad. We have a lot of high cost cards, and probably not enough ramp. But that's, that's, that's some red, so we want that. Jetmere, notoriously quite a fast deck. As long as we get a turn free play or less on our next turn, I think we should be in a decent shape because Guardian Project could probably get us out of this. But they're ramping and we're not, so that does not look positive. That does not look positive at all. Cool. All right. Great henge. Great henge. Fine. I think we want to go to Kazmina actually rather than um, Guardian Project because Ren and Seven seems much more relevant here. If we can get the big tree folk. Um, I don't think that that will necessarily work very well with Luna, but at least we have a non... I guess we have the, uh, yeah, Kazmina can make the tokens, which we can then mutate onto, which would be nice. But they seem to have paused, um, which hopefully means... You hate to hope that they don't have any lands, but this does kind of make you think maybe they don't have any lands. <laughs> and they're, yep, okay, they're giving us the timer. Yeah, there's the land. Okay, they have it. They have it. They just, um... Oh, I want to play Toski. Sure. Cool. Riv's Rebuke is a good a good button to press. Should we face some real problems? Good. We got another land. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of Guardian Project. I think the Grange Henge is far more important here. And once we get our second wizard, we should be laughing. Um, Ren and Seven we can use to get some more lands too. Throw some stuff into the graveyard. Make sure we get Riv's Rebuke on time. Um, this will... Jetmir... I think Jetmir is the play, right? Oh, no. Parallel Lives. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. That's fine by me. Bouncing this board is going to be incredibly satisfying. So... Ooh, Volo. Volo is pretty fun. Uh, well, we'll get another wizard. Every day is a new and maybe discard Volo, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it has to be done. Now we'll discard a forest, because we're almost guaranteed to get another land with Ren and Seven. In fact, maybe we just go for that now. Oh, okay. No, we didn't get one. 
does mean we can Uro pretty well. Ren and Seven and Uro work really nicely together. Uh, so presumably Jetmir is coming down, or they're going to make a whole bunch of tokens, which we can then just wipe away. As long as, yeah, there's Jetmir. We can kill two of their creatures here, though, if they choose to attack with everything. They might just attack with Toski and try and kill Kazmima. Yeah, that's a big board, so I think we're not using a Luna next turn. If they want to kill Kazmima, I'm happy with that. The, uh, oh... Okay, no, that's absolutely fine. That is no problem whatsoever. Okay, so let's just continue getting more lands. Yeah, cool. Snarl ain't the best, but that's what we got. And then we're gonna bounce their board. It's extremely satisfying. <laughs> um, I think next time we can go Uro into Henge, as long as we get another green source. Which we could probably get with Ren and Seven quite nicely. Yeah, they're gonna go for the ramp. Presumably the two other creatures. Yep. Whenever one or more tokens, they get plus one plus one. Yep. Cool. That's fine. It actually seems to be making that many tokens yet. So let's try for the green lands here. Yes, got the command tower. So, unless I'm mistaken, we can go Uro into Great Henge. Uh, see what we really aren't that fussed about. I don't think we have much recursion. Okay, that's good. We'll go that. Into Henge. Get to life. And in the turn. There, that feels very good. There's Jetman. They, yeah, they're, they're, they're stuck on lands, which is really not where they want to be. So here we can go Luna. I think we're going to go Volo first, just to see what we get. I believe how this works is when you mutate... <laughs> Do we have a beast? I don't think we have a beast elemental or dinosaur, so this should work okay. But we're going to... Let's get let's get a creature. And I think we're gonna mutate a Luna onto Uro. And then we get a copy of it. That we also get to mutate. Uh let's it doesn't really matter. Same power and toughness. Huh, why did that not work? It's fine, we're gonna get two elves instead. Oh, it counts your graveyard as well, of course. That's why it's that's why it's not really working very well. But we can do the Uro thing with Luna, which oh look at this. Now this is this is the kind of value you want. <laughs> uh, we'll put Breeding Pool into play on taps. We have our 10-10 tree. I, 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 I mean Jet Miss has double strike, doesn't it, for the, when they have nine creatures. So we just need to really hope they don't get to nine. They could parallel lives and then spores or whatever it's called. Voracious Hydra can definitely kill something. Okay, Leonin War Leader will kill with the Hydra, I think. That's 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 fairly safe. Um uh, what do we want to do? Let's get some more lands. Nice. Uh mutate onto a Luna. Underneath, which means we get to play Luxior for free. Yes, discard a forest for a Garrix Harbringer, and let's not get carried away and make sure we kill Jetmir. So we need to get four counters on this. Oh, we kept two of them. So we'll fight the Leonian, Leonian War Leader, even though it does kill us. Um, we're not quite getting our great hedge triggers, are we? Oh, we are. Yes. Okay. Sure. Um, and then we can spark double or something. We could. Uh, yeah, they're done. <laughs> they're done. They're done. They're done. Now that's that's the kind of fun that I'm looking for. That's the kind of fun I'm looking for. <laughs> awesome. Move on to game three. And we're against Jetmir again. 
Um, this would be a really nice hand if we had more going on land-wise. This is much better. We can Great Horn on turn two. And we can pass our beast onto the Great Horn. So, and we've got all our lands. Look at that. Oh, they're also doing Kahira. So Kahira as well. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Um, we'll migrate your Great Horn onto Gildy Goose. And get ourselves an island. Uh, Kazmima. Probably not coming down next turn. They're going to keep ramping. We're also going to keep ramping, I think. We could do Parcel Beast, or we could start playing our Planeswalkers, which would be really fun. Um, but this way, we get to a Luna next turn, so I really don't see why we wouldn't do that. And I think we'll use the Parcel Beast ability at the end of the next turn. I think we need to make sure we have two blue. It's two blue, isn't it, to mutate a Luna? Yeah, we need to make sure we have two blue, so we'll make sure we get another island. There we are. And then the ability says, look at the library of slam, put it into the battlefield. Okay, so we'll just we'll just not attack here because I think it's more important that we get our lands slash draw cards than uh, Hour of Devastation, so we'll pass the beast and get a land. And uh, I mean it doesn't make much sense, but we could I think we double planeswalker here, don't we? Um Arlen into Kazmima. Oh, whoops, we did that wrong, didn't we? Okay, well, we'll just make a couple of werewolves then. That way we have a, a Luna mutate target. Mirror March would be awesome to play. Oh, nice. They just get to kill our Planeswalker. And Garak's Uprising. Nice. Okay, well. That's Arlen gone. I mean, I'm not too sad because we got our 4 4 out of it. Maybe. We, oh, I really want to play Mirror March before we mutate because then we get a whole bunch of triggers. But it's also very unlikely we should probably play correctly. Ah. Uh, you know what? We're going to Mirror March. It's too fun not to do. Aha! Shire. Yeah, this is a problem. We could end up, uh, if we mirror march into a, I mean, again, this is hypothetically speaking, but if we mirror march into, oh, look at that, that's nice. It's free, and then we, are we just one short of mutating? Yeah, we are. So we'll mutate onto our wolf. Ooh, Prosperous Innkeeper. Okay, that means we get a bunch of treasure. Come on. Ah, oh, just one flip. Um, and let's just get Kazmima ready. Scrying to... Oh, Do I want faster Deep Dwelling? I do want faster Deep Dwelling, don't I? Yeah, we'll keep faster. So they're likely going to hit us pretty hard here. Yeah. This is a real big hit. The Genki here already. If we can just get enough life with the Prosperous Inkeeper, okay, I'm glad they're going for Kazmima there. That's all they're doing. Fine. Really don't mind. That is okay with me. So, we can put our trumpeting, if we mutate our trumpeting Nah onto a Luna, hopefully we'll get something! We're gonna get something. Yeah, we got a Lordrakis. Might get a bunch of them. Nope, we don't! <sighs> okay, so you've just gotta play Mirror March as if you're gonna get nothing out of it, I suppose. That was the biggest problem, because we could be fastering our Prosperous Innkeeper and getting a whole bunch of life and treasure. 
So, once again, fortunately enough, we're going to have to lose a lot of creatures here. Ooh, we're going to have to lose a lot of creatures here. How's this going to turn out? Ooh, not too bad, actually. That's a 10-8, so we will kill it with our three creatures. Uh, really don't want this staying. Quartzwood Crasher, what a cool card. Oh, we don't even kill it. Oh, that was bad. Okay, we just have to hope that this works out really well. <laughs> Come on, flips, flips, flips. Yes! <laughs> you can only make it up. Look at that. And burn down the house, does burn down the house do it? Okay, so what does burn down the house do? It kills almost everything. Quartzwood Crasher. Yeah, why is Quartzwood Crasher so big? So nine is supposed to be a six six. So it wouldn't die to things normally anyway. So can we do Elvish Visionary? Yeah, we can do Elvis Visionary and Fassa, so we'll do that. Okay, cool. Two more, two more cards. Okay, this is getting kind of ridiculous, because now we can tap these two for green mana. Play the Great Henge. Um, we could mirror image of Prosperous Innkeeper rather than, than Fassering it at the end of turn. I like that. Yep. So we get two more treasure. Which means we can then Glowstone Recluse onto a Luna. We're going to have a very little at end of turn. Under. But a bunch of life. Oh, we get Ugin. Okay. What is the key target with Ugin? I think it has to be a Shire. Okay, and then attack with all our tokens. On Samut. <laughs> what a cool turn. What a cool turn. What a cool turn. And uh, it's gotten to the point where we've lost sound effects. Um, but now we lose a whole bunch of stuff, and we'll see what we actually have left after all of this stuff's gone. It's not going to be much. We just got a card. We'll get rid of a mountain, sure. But that, I, I'm pretty happy with how that turn turned out. I, I take back everything I said about Mirror March. It can do the most ridiculous things in the world. There we go. That's cool planes. Um, yep. Yeah. We've lost all sound effects. Godzilla. <laughs> okay, so what does this mean? Does it mean we're dead? I don't know if it does mean we're dead. Yeah, that's fine. Scale the heights. Interesting, interesting. So they're definitely doing some sort of landfall stuff with this, aren't they? Um, so we'll kill Kahira. Everything else has trample. So this and this can kill the token. And then how much do we have coming through? We have 12. We have, we have 12, 22, 31, 40. So yeah, we'll take 40, which isn't a statement I say often. This is the most Ikoria game I've ever played, I think. Okay, cool, cool. So how do we, how do, what do we do now? <sighs> We'll make a token. Um, okay, sure, sure. Two life. I don't think gaining life is going to be enough this time. I think we really need to get ourselves uh, River's Rebuke or similar. Um, so to do that, the only way we have drawing cards is through Kasmina and Mordenkainen here. Uh, unless we have enough blue devotion, which I don't think we do. We have one, two blue devotion, so that's not happening yet. Um, we draw it and discard a land. That's not what we wanted. 
um, oh, yeah, as valiantly as we fought, we aren't going to win this unless we get some sort of miracle here. Yeah, we got a creature that can mutate, but we don't have the mana for it. So good game. For all that chaos, we still lose, but that was one of the best games I've played in a very long time. Awesome. And there's probably a bunch of misplays and stuff I could have done better there. So please drop them in the comments if you think you saw them. But that I'm going to valiantly, happily take the uh, uh, lots. 65 damage plus. <laughs> and on to game four. All right, it's game four of the Jank Fest. We're on to Siona, Captain of the Felius. Who I believe has a two card combo that we need to look out for. Um, we don't have, we have some ramp, it doesn't come out straight away, but we get to do the Ketra Trium, Lanimal Ralves, um, get quite close to a Gold, gold Span Dragon quite quick, which is a great Aluna mutate target. So we'll start with the Trium, and we have our sound effects back, which is good because I was worried they were gone <laughs> forever. Um, yeah, you do a jump, little cat. And, oh, fantastic, right, so we have ourselves some more mutations. And you get Goosey with it. Next turn, it is looking like Lanowar Elves next turn. Siona. Oh, Season of, season of Growth is very concerning. Play Luxior. Um, and the fact that we might not have a land next turn is also a bit worrying, but at least we can definitely gold span as long as they just play their Commander Siona. Cool, and they get to dig quite deep for a enchantment aura and they have hydra's growth so <laughs> so so oh dear basically um right let's get gold span out start getting some beats in this means we can luna onto gold span next turn and it means that we can wait yeah it does mean that it means we can luna onto gold span next turn start getting more treasure and uh, hopefully bringing home the bacon, as it were. Uh, we could just burn down the house, but that's really not working in our favor right now. They're just going to get a rune instead and draw a bunch of cards. Looks like they're a bit low on land. Oh, nice. Uh, Season of Growth is very good with Siona. <laughs> very, very good indeed. And they've got another enchantment somewhere. They've got to have another one. Oh, I'll seed. Okay. I'll seed. All said differently, depending on who you are. Um, right, okay, let's just, just hope that we get um, something like, I don't know, the Great Henge with this, because I really need some more mana producing sources. Uh, hopefully, I don't think protection, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. What do we got? We get ourselves... Oh, okay, Tamio. Um, choose a non-land card name. Great. Um, we need Rivers Review, so I'm just going to search for that. But it may be the case. Uh, Rivers Review. Okay, we might mill a bunch of lands, but that's okay, because we want to mill a bunch of lands. And then we can get them back with Kazmi in the next turn. I mean, Tamio. Nice Tamio. Tamio before Tamio was an evil genius. Uh, I don't know why that island's been exiled. Why has that island been exiled? I'm not sure why that island has been exiled. Uh, is it a Luna? Does a Luna? Oh, it just exiles loads of cards. Yeah, fair enough. At the very least, we can cloud pierce to get another mutate trigger off of the Luna next turn. So that's 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 cool. But they are doing a lot of stuff. We're making our board big, but they're doing more. Um, and Danita, Danita Cat Passion. Mm. So we'll get a land. Uh, it's going to be an island. Then we can mutate our cloud pierce. Hopefully, start doing some more things. So we'll mutate onto a Luna. Um, underneath, giving it the powerful combination of flying and reach. Ah, when we get faster, that's good. That means we can start spreading our creatures out. We'll discard this Hungering Hydra. Hopefully get another land. Yep. Okay, good. 
Um, and we can attack with a Luna. Get some more treasure. <coughs> and then just spread out the mutate triggers. Spread out the mutate creatures with uh, Facet Deep Dwelling. Or maybe we want to use it for... Uh, no, we don't use it for Gilded Goose. We need blockers here. And the mutate trigger from Cloud Fresher isn't that important. Oh, ho, 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 I forgot we get the gold spam back as well. Look, they're all back. They're all back. Fasa Deep Dwelling. <laughs> yes. Right, okay, now that's that's of course of concern, is it not? Face of Divinity gets plus two plus two and it has first strike and a lifelink and it's gonna make some more creatures. It's still not big enough to even deal with a Luna, so that's okay. They probably have that Statistian not Statistian training. There's another one, isn't there, where you fight something. Statistian training just gives it trample and draws you a card. And plus one plus zero. Okay, Hydra's Growth. So we might just wanna burn down the house here, because they have a lot of stuff. Um, and Hydra's Grove is only going to give them plus one, plus one this once. Of course, they can use Al Seed to um, give it protection for until end of turn. Eh, not great. So burn down the house might not be the way to go. Yeah, they're being mindful of the fact that they need to protect their commander, which is good plays, good plays. Do we have anything in the graveyard we want? No. Do we have anything in our library we want? Yes, it's called River's Rebuke, so we're going to try and get that. Uh, I think this is one of the best cards in Historic Brawl. Yeah, we've got Hydroid Crisis though, so... Um, let's... Tatty over. Keep drawing. Uh, Fables. Fable could be worse. We could definitely get worse cards than Fable. Um, let's... Yeah, this is a two-turn clock as well in the air, so... I'm down with that. I don't know if the Kazmina plan is happening. <laughs> Kazmina. At this point in the game, I think we need a lot of time to be able to really do that in a way that we feel confident with. Every stage of this card is just so good in so many decks. It's no wonder I see so much play. Um, okay, yeah, cool. We'll end the turn there. And then we can bounce. What do we want to bring back? Goldspan? No. Let's just bring back a Luna. As a blocker. We'll get the cool animation. That becomes a 6-6. Six, six. We still have a lot of flying threats. They have no reach. They'll need to kill a Luna. And uh, they'll need to kill... Well, they have six lifelink damage with first strike, which is pretty nice. We can't do much of a... We, can't, we don't have any sacrifice here, so we can't sacrifice in like before between blocks and damage. What does Born to Drive do? It makes a token, doesn't it? Oof! Bond Drive. Bond Drive, what do you do? Uh, as a creature gets lower, uh, each other creature vehicle you control. Okay. So it's a 14 14. They've Voltroned it pretty well. But at least we can dig pretty decently for Rivers Rebuke with Tamio. 14 damage. I think we don't take it. I'll just use the goose. It doesn't have trample here, does it? No. So it's just 14 damage to the goose, and their backup's 21. Just so much damage that it just it it's beyond recognition of how much noise it makes. Uh, I think we get rid of Cosmina and we get rid of the snarl because we're almost certainly gonna draw a land. Yeah, cool. Tatty over. Gets us another mountain. Which we can't play yet, so uh, is there any kind of graveyard we want? Uh, we could certainly do the whole octopus thing. So yeah, we'll do the octopus thing. We'll get the octopus. We'll octopus onto a Luna. I follow the tracks of the wise. See if we get anything decent. See if we get the henge.
We get the spark double instead. Um, let's make that a gold span. Oh, hang on. So we have, we might have, if we give Cloud Fresh a flying, do we just win? Um, I think so. They're on 21, so that's 10. We're just one damage short if we, um, we're one damage short if we equip a creature with this. So, how do we do this? We give Dreamtail Heron. Oh, we're the one, damn it. We're one short. We're one short. Um, and then, what if we do an all out attack? We're so close. We're so close. But I think we need to mutate this onto Cloud Shredder, Cloud Piercer. Which it looks like they have some sort of answer for. We'll put it under the Cloud Pressure. Draw a card, discard a card. Draw a field of ruin, discard field of ruin. I don't think we need it. Um, and then we just get in with our flying frets. Which is going to give us a whole bunch of treasure. Okay, so it doesn't make them produce an additional mana. And then at the beginning of their turn, we can at least try to tap it down with Thassa. The uh, big Voltron creature, that is. Are they gonna? I don't know. What can I do with Alcide? They look. They're looking at Alcide. Yeah, they're on one. And the octopus allows us to draw cards. And then at end of turn, we can do this with a Luna. Get our octopus back, just as a blocker. And that makes faster an indestructible creature. Fantastic, because we have the devotion online. Yeah. Okay, that's huge. We can try to tap it down with Fassa. Yep, Oaken Form is nice. They draw cards. They might use some green mana to try and give it Trample. Um, we have enough to block with here. So, come on, use the last of your mana. Use all, all of it. Forget that Fassa exists and we have all this treasure. Uh, it's so annoying. We get to do all this cool stuff, but we rarely actually get to uh, <laughs> win. Um, are they bouncing something? Okay, so they are. So we'll try and tap down their creature. Four. They'll sacrifice our seed. That leaves them with two mana. They have played land this turn, have they not? Blooming, blossoming defense. Okay. That becomes a zero one. They have two white mana left, so trample is very unlikely to be an option anymore. They're scrying. Okay, that's good. They are going to go back up to twenty three. We have twenty in the air. They're going to attack with uh, Danita as well. Okay, so we can just block with our useless Fassa Deep Dwelling now. It still isn't enough. Ah, uh, we can't really get much more damage in next turn than we did last turn. Yep, once again, it's too much damage to... Uh, <laughs> mm. Well, at least we have Tatio over to draw another card. We have, we have Tamio, which could just get us River's Rebuke, which if it did... Okay, there's River's Rebuke. <laughs> there's River's Rebuke. There it is. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You have lost, I think. Unless you have some inexplicable reason have... Uh, the Pact of Negation, we have that in the bag. Good game. Good game. Get in with the attack. Get a bunch of triggers, get a bunch of treasure, get a bunch of smiles on faces. Yes, fantastic. Right, on to the final game. 
So final game is against one of these weird planeswalkers that does all these things. Um, gets dragon cards, make gets cheaper. They make cost shipping dragons. We have a bunch of mutated creatures, mirror image. But uh, yeah, I think we mulligan. I think we mulligan that away. Yep, that's I'm glad I did. Um, Elvish Visionary. We can definitely, we should hope, hopefully field a Ruin turn 3. Are they on mono red? They'll probably play some non basics. Ah, uh, and that's why. We shouldn't have played the pathway straight away because we could have got our blue source earlier. But hopefully we just draw into it. No, we don't draw into it. All right, at least we are Hydras, are playable. But we need at least two blue sources if we're going to get anywhere near a Luna. They want to burn away the elf, that's fine at this point of the game. Really isn't doing that much for us. Oh, treasure map. Okay, so Steelbane Hydra is going to come in useful. And the Porky Parrot is also probably going to come in useful. But we're just going to play Field of Ruin. I hope they know non basic into it. It's quite unlikely they do in reality. Um, yeah, there's just a mountain. There I was thinking that all their mountains wouldn't be different. Ah, and there's our island. Okay, fantastic. Well, we'll start Tamioing. And is Rips Rebuke the way to go here? They're going to perpetually make things cheaper. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Maybe we just get back the elf. Uh, the elf is a mutate target after all, but... River's Rebuke is not necessarily something we need right now. And this is where it comes in handy to know your deck. Unfortunately, I made this deck a long time ago. <laughs> so we're going to aim for... Let me aid your research. Oh, maybe we should just go for Goose. Prismari command would be nice. We can destroy the treasure map. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're just getting some stuff in our graveyard. If we get Prismari commands, that'd be grand. But we, we got lands, and that's really what we wanted. So, fantastic. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to mutate a Luna onto anything. So, it might just be that we play a Luna next turn. And then we can Porcupine it onto a Luna. We have a Migratory Great Horn as well. So, we could double mutate the turn afterwards if it all goes to plan. Uh, we could also just get back an island. Aha! They've played a non-basic. Uh, they could just go for the Shivan Dragon here, of course. Yeah, they've gone for the Shivan Dragon. In which case, we probably want to make our Voracious Hydra massive. Um, ah, but then we don't get the... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to return something from our graveyard, and it's going to be the, the Fabled Passage to get an island. Oh, even then. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we do Voracious Hydra for free. And give it double the amount of counters. So now our Alun is going to come down as a 12-13. Which should be able to deal with any Shivan Dragon nonsense. And we'll also get Trample and Flying, so that means we can... Uh... So this gives... Dragon cards, my uh, one is cast, and if you pay X, it's going to cost what X is my life. So they, they, uh, removes the colors from dragons. Not really necessary, is it? Free damage target creature. They're going to Soul Scar. Oh, 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 that's nice. Okay, that, I'm down for the. If they want to down tick the Voracious Hydra, they see what they we're doing. That's that's fine. Um. Oh, oh. Is this where we do the thing? We came here to do the thing. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, Octopus. To the library. No, not Octopus. We let's see if we can get let's get Risen Risen Reef. Or well, what do we have? We could really help us out here. Uh, Cloud Piercer. You know, Auspicious Starrix is fun. So if we got Auspicious Starrix, that's great. Is I going to name any of those cards? Probably not. Um, huh. So we want Fabled Passage to get rid of this when it comes down eventually. So maybe we just Luna. Yeah. Let's just play a Luna. Maybe it was best to go with the Steel Bane Hydra first so we can start. I'm messing up. I'm playing badly. I assume they're going Shiv and Dragon here. We've still got the Field of Ruin to deal with the uh, treasure map, turning into a treasure map, but they could just ramp up to seven and play a bigger dragon. 
Haven't seen many dragons yet. A lot of removal, but not many dragons. They could have gold span. If they have gold span, they can't use it very well, which might be why they're not playing it. Uh, Cosme. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought the Cosmina thing would happen more, but <laughs> it's not as of yet. When we play Cosmina, we'll put some mutate creatures in there. You know, we'll have some fun with it. We will play mutate creatures in Cosmina. Josue 57 2022. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, they're getting another one. These are the famed tyrants of Shiv. Cool, famed tyrants of Shiv. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go with a double mutate. Um, get ourselves a blue source. We've got two greens, so yeah, let's get two blue. We'll porky power it. We might find ourselves getting the Great Henge, which might change things. No idea what we're going to get. Let's see what we get. Uh, Guardian Project. Okay, yeah, that does change things a little. Um, what does it? Yeah, maybe we play Kazmina. Nah, I think we want to start getting rid of these problematic artifacts, so we'll play the Steel Bane on two. And see if we can... Um, so that starts to threaten these artifacts they're using. We draw a card. Each time we draw a card as well, this is, this is a bit of a ridiculous way to think of things. This doesn't have haste, but each time we draw a card, it means that Tamiyo is slightly more likely to work. Every time we use Tamiyo, it means Tamiyo is slightly more likely to work. So, yeah. You know, that's nice. Um, so Tamiyo, we will get ourselves. This is one damage for each. We'll try and get... I think River's Rebuke is a must, isn't it? Let's always try and get River's Rebuke, I think. It's a good out. Uh, and we will attack the Planeswalker. We can go double Tamiyo next turn. Um, we might complete it so that we can do return how much blue and green do we need we need we need double okay we need one green two red blue blue green one one other so actually yeah we can just do um, normal tamio shooting down with the ship and dragon um oh gnarly oh mama that's good um yes we'll have our commander back once again the sound effects <laughs> so star of extinction a card that you want to play in a deck with things. <laughs> um, so I guess Tamiyo, isn't it really? Um, uh, we could go this, go red, red, blue, Prismari command and destroy an artifact, do that. So we'll make a treasure, they'll destroy that. Uh, we could, with Venom Value, X Mark Graveyard. Um, we could just play Tamiyo for its normal cost. And we could start making duplicates of stuff in our graveyard. So we could... Oh, let's just get rid of one of their treasures for a turn. They might just sacrifice in response, which would be a bad move. Cool. Yep. Yeah, nice. Alright, so as long as nothing's hasty, then Tamiyo can deal with one creature a turn. And maybe Aluna is going to cast... Oh, they just sacrificed it, of course. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. I guess at least it feels like we forced them to sacrifice it. Um, if that's if that even really matters. But cool, 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 cool. So what's the play? It's Kr Kromla into Shiv and Dragon. Are they going to start playing the ships? No, Skog and Hellkite instead, which will get haste if they want to do the whole... Yeah, they want to attack Tamiyo. Okay, fine. That means they those two are basically going to be busy fighting each other. Um, ooh, for, well, we're going to tap this Skog and Hellkite because it's a nightmare. And then maybe we spark double... Yeah, let's spark double Tamiyo and make another Tamiyo as well. And we'll play... Ah, oh, it's an upkeep trigger, isn't it? So it is kind of difficult. Oh, okay, and they're just conceding. <laughs> 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 
the double time you did it. So in conclusion, I love this deck and I've played so many games with it um, prior to recording this. Um, hopefully, due to the nature of my job, I should be able to start recording a bit more frequently now. And I might start doing some more non-historic stuff now that Explorer is a format. Alchemy is a format again, but I don't think we'll do many Alchemy videos. But um, yeah. Probably going to give some Explorer stuff a go, maybe some more standard stuff a go. Going to keep on with the Historic Brawl, but thank you again to the viewer who asked to do some weird mutate stuff, because I had so much fun with it. Cool. Catch it. Have a good one, and adios.